Hello, hello, it's Brooke Sidney here, your favorite mindset and manifestation coach. And today I wanted to explain the feeling is the secret and why that is the key to you manifesting whatever it is that you desire, be it love, money, homes, vacations, or even new friends. But before I get into it, I just wanna remind you there are two ways to work with me. Both ways are listed below, as well as two communities of like-minded individuals that are on this amazing manifestation journey. So today I wanted to talk about The Feeling is the Secret, which is both a book and a term coined by Neville Goddard. Some people would call him kind of the king of the law of assumption um, and a very powerful manifestation teacher. And the reason why I decided today was an important day to talk about the feeling is a secret is because I want us to kind of go back to the basics. I want the people that follow me on this channel to understand that a lot of what I'm teaching is both experience-based, meaning I've been able to manifest, but it's also like a law. These are law of assumptions. A lot of people have heard of law of attractions, just like there's a law of gravity, there's law of creation. And so I want you to understand how to use these laws in your reality, right? I want you to learn how to create with them. And the feeling is the secret is kind of a pivotal understanding for you to activate the law consciously in your reality. And so when we talk about the feeling as the secret, I wanna explain first of all that the feeling is actually what manifests in your 3D reality. Many people think that it is thoughts that create. There's a whole bunch of memes around it. I actually used to think that, that it was all about what you're thinking about. It's true to a degree. The reason why your thoughts are important is because your thoughts lead to feelings and it is your feelings that actually impress upon your subconscious that creates the manifestation. So thoughts don't actually create, feelings actually create. So that's why another reason why the feeling is the secret. Um, I'll read you a quote from Neville Goddard and it says that, Though you're, through your ability to think and feel, you have dominion over all creation. Through your ability to think and feel, you have dominion over all your creation. So again, it is your thoughts that then create a feeling that determines your manifestation. The second part of this is that the feelings, and I think I said it already, but the feelings are what impress upon your subconscious. Your feelings cause whatever you're thinking about essentially to saturate your subconscious. That's why whatever you're thinking about and people talk about it all the time, your thoughts, you know, whatever's happening to you is neutral. How you start thinking and feeling about it is what shapes your reality. It's what's shaping what you are manifesting. And so that's why it's so important for us to pay attention to what we are thinking and feeling because that is truly how it all gets brought into being. Um, Neville Goddard always talks about what he calls this creation cycle. And it's basically that we have a thought or we have an idea, that thought or idea then turns into some, si some sort of feeling. We start thinking about it and it creates a feeling inside of us, good, bad, sadness, happiness, whatever it is. And then from that, feeling, it impresses upon our subconscious. Remember, thoughts and everything that are happening to us are essentially, things that are happening to us are essentially neutral. It's then what we think and then feel about them that start this whole creation process. So I really want you to understand that. And then the important thing that I want you to think about as well is whether you are feeling lack scarcity or you are feeling confidence, certainty, knowing, that is your point of creation, right? If we're talking about the fact that feelings are creating, then you have to think about what are your feelings? What are your feeling states? There's a big difference between operating from lack, like I don't have my SP, I don't have my money, I don't have my new house, 
or operating from a feeling of abundance or confidence or knowing this that I I have my SP. I know that I have my SP. I know that I have love. I know that I have love coming in. I know that I have money coming in. I know that the house is mine. I know that the vacation is mine. Whatever it is, you obviously can tell that if you're creating from a place of lack or scarcity and that's how you are feeling, then you're going to keep imprinting that upon your subconscious. And as a result, keep creating from that place. That's why everyone talks about the fact that you don't want to create from a place of lack because you're just going to create yourself more and more of not having whatever it is that you desire, not having your wish fulfilled, not having your manifestation. Then I want to also explain too is like, I think one of the key ways that we can know how we're actually feeling or thinking about whatever it is, whatever topic it is, whether it's money, whether it's love, whether it's, you know, work, whether it's a vacation, whatever it is, I truly do feel like your body is a clue. How are your thoughts and feelings being activated within? Do you feel good about it? Do you feel good about the way that you're thinking? I know um, for my law of attraction folks, that's what Abraham Hicks talks all about is your feelings as the guide, right? All of these laws have truth to them. The feeling is the guide. The feeling is the secret. And you can tell how you're attracting and law of attraction speak or what you're manifesting by how you are indeed feeling. Are you feeling good about something? Are you feeling positive, abundant? Or are you in the state of not having it? Are you in the state of scarcity or lack? These key feelings help you to know what you're going to keep manifesting. That's why at any point in time, you can change the way you feel about something and your entire life can change. You change the way you think, which then changes the way you feel. You continue to feel that way, which is all about creating that natural assumption to keep feeling into that state of having, into the state of being, so that it is so certain within it feels so real. You feel yourself there. It feels so resonant. As I always say, that's how you know the manifestation is coming. You know, no one is giving you really a lot of new ideas. Many of us are just trying to translate these ideas into ways that make sense, into ways that your soul and your mind and your inner self can truly, truly take a hold of it and make it yours so that you can manifest what you want. The last thing that I want to leave you with is this quote from Neville Goddard. And it says, what you feel you are always dominates what you feel you would like to be. Therefore, to be realized, the wish must be felt as the state that is rather than a state that is not. And so we want to always feel that we have it, that we are it, that we can manifest it, that it is a part of us. It's not outside of us rather than thinking that it is not a part of us, that we can't have it, that it is so far away from us. Because when we do that, we continue to push it away because we keep imprinting upon our subconsciousness that which we do not have. So today it is my hope that I gave you a simple primer on the feeling is the secret and how to start using this key to manifest whatever you want, love, money, marriage, house, whatever. It is my hope it's been helpful. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel, like this video and turn your bell on because I drop videos daily. See you soon.